folks, this month's Patreon winner is going out for all these lovely lot. Uh, welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. Tuning your guitar down half a step. We're doing a lot of that lately. So, we have this. <laughs> Okay, pedals, I'm using the Funny Little Boxes 91. A touch of reverb. And for the intro, I'm using the new Boss SDE3. Demo coming for that soon. It's their new uh, du dual digital delay. <laughs> So let's start there, shall we? Starts with this. Basically, you're playing with the delay off. And then the next riff. We're going to play that, okay? Let me slow it down a bit. I'll turn the delay off. So we have. Now on the repeat, you'll often hear him slide for that. You'll hear him do that. Um, so you can put that in if you want. But essentially, you're just banking everything around the open B string. Right? It's just that riff with the open B string filling in the blanks, right? It's quite difficult to play to speed because you're skipping over quite a few strings, right? So keep your right hand fairly relaxed. So you're going to do that six times. It's quite difficult to do that six times in a row without messing up. Trust me. Uh, and then we go to this part. Delay still on. Right. So I'll turn the, that off there. And then we go. I'll slide at the end. So... We've got this part. So four, two, four, two, zero, two. Pretty straightforward stuff, really. And it's all palm muted, lightly covering the strings with a little karate chop bit of your hand. Somewhere around, you know, the bridge there. So three of those, then you go. D five A to B. I'm going to concentrate on Slash's parts in this, um, but you know, you, there's some cool stuff that Izzy plays. Uh, the intro bit. Then the main riff. Got that going on, right? Um, that riff is awesome. The fill is even better, but it's tricky. So give yourself some time for this one. I can barely play it. All five chords. Okay, pretty straightforward. Right, three times of that. Then we go to this fill. It's a pinch harmonic first. So you've got to pinch a little bit of your fleshy bit of your thumb to get that ringing out. So again. Then you're into the verse, then you've got the sort of pared down version, right? So... You got that going on, right? So there's a bit of variance. The first time it's slight bend. And you're gonna lightly mute some of this as well. You 
there because it's, it's played with a lot of dynamics, this, okay? So the first time. And then the next three times, I just stick to this. You know, I just do that one. Uh, but, you know, vary it as much as you want, really. Then we go up to here. Same vibe, right? You're just playing five chords on the uh, with the root on the A string. So we've got... Do that four times, and then we're going to this. A slashes part here, you'd think he's playing, you know, that stuff, right? But that's the other guitar, so we have. You know, you got some artificial harmonics or pinch harmonics going on there, right? So, from the C. Got that. Two, three. Okay, and then we have. Very slowly. Three of those, and then. Then we go back into the verse. Some cool fills coming up though. So we have. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so slide from the uh, fifth to the seventh. A grace note slide, basically. Okay. To speed. And he's got another fantastic fill which goes and into that, right? So we have again, I'm lightly palm muting this. Slowly. You've got a using my little finger here because I find it more dexterous, oddly. You know. But yeah, the habit, it's easier for me to reach to it. But there we go. You're gonna flatten your third or fourth finger there, right? And then And then into the next riff, right? Same thing again, three of these. Then we've got this just awesome. This there's a three guitar parts I think playing here at least. I think one's playing the other one's playing up here. So we'll do that one, right? So you can either do a a chug or you can do a little whack. And then we go. All that stuff, right? So anyway, wind back to the riff we have. Let me play it clean. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And then we have. Okay, like that. Then we go one and a half step bend there. And I would change my fingering here because you're going to do this. Yes, yeah, so I would do 
I'd move my little third finger there for that 17th fret. And we got this riff. We got that going on, right? Let me put the distortion on because it sounds cool. So we have this. Three, four. You know, some more pinch harmonics. It's a weird phrase, actually, in a cool way. So we have this. Got that going on. So the first part is just triplet, but it overhangs, so it comes in like just before the first beat. Three, four. Okay, and then we go to triplet, so it'd be. And then. Bend, half step bend, release, and pull off, right? And then we got triplets. Little triplet run, right? And then we go. So many good licks in this tune, aren't they? So you do a bend. I think it's a half step bend and release. Slide down to the 10th fret and then. Little pinch harmonic, right? Back in again. And then we've immediately got another cool fill. How good is that, all right? So slowly. And again, and I'm using my little finger, you could use your third finger, right? So get that bit first. Find it so much easier with my little finger. Anyway, and then we go. You got some more. Some more first finger on adjacent string, same fret action. So when we go. You've got something like that going on there. It's quite hard to hear this bit, but I think it's. Some trills, right? Like that, and then we go back in here. Into that a couple of times, and then. That turn around again, uh, and we're coming into the breakdown now. So again, this. Clean tone. Yeah, the guitar's playing. It's same, same thing, right? If you want to put that in. But um, I think Slash is basically just playing a D to a G. Three times of that. Then distortion comes back on again. Four. This bit's cool. Um, there is a solo part, but the other guitar part is brilliant, so we'll do it. It goes. Now there's a, a guitar that comes in with this. It's like a two and a half step bend. It bends up to like that. So then we have this. Unison bends, right? So you're bending the 15th fret up, full step. Then we've got this. Cool little run. And then we go. Another 
another little pinch harmonic again. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit, so slowly. Let me go. Then we have pre-bend. It's very subtle, um, a little sharpening of the note there. But you start with a double stop bend there. And then little run down. Quick bend and release there. And a pull off. Back on. And then you hammer on your, your first finger onto the G while you play both open strings. Coming to the last bit now, so we have... That's cool, isn't it? Let's go back a bit. So we have, again... Same, isn't it? So we got... And then... Then we've got this. And I would keep those held there so you get that them both ringing out. So it's a, a bend, 15th fret. 14. And then... But I would use my second finger here. So what you can do, you can use that to slide down and back up. And then while that's ringing out, you pick the 14th fret on the B. And then just slide down. And then we have... Again, just a series of bends. Half step. Next string down. Little pinch harmonic. Fourth fret. So many brilliant licks, aren't they? So we're on the second fret. I mean, if you've got a slide. And then you've got all this. You know, you've got that stuff going on, if you want to do that. And then we go into the outro section, really, which is... The other guitar is playing. You could play those together if you want. And then we go. Okay, so straightforward enough. And then we go this again. Round that again, so that's twice, and then we go. And then you can really fill out the chords with. All right, so we've got. And then up to the fifth. And then a little. 
Jimi Hendrix Chord to end. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.